What's going on YouTube? Beretta19 back with y'all with another video. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe, hit your notification bell, drop as many comments as you can down below. Like and share the video. It's gonna be a short video, you guys, but I am gonna get you know straight into the topic. And <clears throat> that topic is buying a used car versus a new car. <coughs> Once again, buying a used car versus a new car. You guys, I'm sure you've seen many times, many ads and stuff on TV and here on radio, <coughs> here on radio and everything. People talking about, you know, put a thousand down on this car, put three thousand down on this car. This car costs this much. You can get this deal and everything. <coughs> Let me tell y'all from experience. Okay. First and foremost, understand something. When you buy a used car, when you buy a used car, excuse me, what ends up happening, you buying a car and everything that has some experience. It's been through some snow, some ice, bad weather, some breakdowns, etc., etc. But understand something. <clears throat> this is why I prefer a used car over a new car. Hold on one second, I grab something. Sorry about that, y'all. Just got me some water. Um, and like I said and everything, when you buy a used car, understand something. You're dealing with the um with a car, like I said, that's been through some things. Also, if you buy it, you know, cash out, say three to seven thousand dollars. Understand this. <clears throat> You're gonna have some bumps in the road with it. You better put new parts on it. May need to change it. But remember, you own that car now. You own it. And there's many different ways you can use that car to your advantage. Many different ways. And what I need for you guys to understand. Getting a used car is not the terrible or worst thing in the world you can do. <clears throat> Personally, I prefer, like I said, to get a used car. Because like I said, it's, you will own it quicker. Okay, in some cases. Depending on how much money you make. Now, also, <clears throat> when uh, having a used car and everything, which you also can do, you can use it if you need it. If you need it, you can use it for a title loan, okay? You know, get a little money in your pocket. I don't recommend it. <clears throat> I don't recommend it, but I'm saying you could. And you can do other stuff with it, you know, make extra money or turn your little truck or you got a pickup truck, <clears throat> you can turn it into a snow plow and hustle or whatever you want to do that. Or turn it into a little moving thing. Who knows? Now, remember, you own the car or truck, whatever you got. And you ain't got to worry about nobody come picking it up. That's the key. Because these old, these old phony people. You know, on TV with all these old phony deals and ads and everything. Ain't nothing but a bunch of BS. They're false advertising. Let me give you the real deal. Like I always do. Now, you go buy a new car. The new car smell. It's beautiful. Oh, this is my dream car. Oh, my God. Okay. Here's the problem. Got a car, no. <laughs> Got to pay all uh, insurance. <clears throat> if that car breaks down, you gotta pay for the repairs, the insurance, and the car. Note. So, what ends up happening, if you get behind in your payment, they gonna come take your car. They gonna come take your car, and then if you don't pick up the payment, or if you don't, you know, catch up on your payment, and they keep your car, then they gonna try to charge you for it. You're going to try and charge it, resell it, and go charge it for it. And you don't want that on your credit. So I'm telling you, think twice before you go jump and buy a new car trying to keep up with the Joneses. Okay? And that's no disrespect to nobody last name Jones. Just a figure of speech, you know what I'm saying? In other words, trying to keep up with, you know, the high class people. You don't need to do that. Just get you a vehicle that work right. Get your vehicle that run right. <clears throat> get you a vehicle that's you know to your liking 
got some nice little appeal to it and go from there. But if you can, avoid a car note. Please avoid a car note. Because they lie so much. And then let me tell you something else. If you don't have enough money to put down on the car for what you're supposed to, they'll overcharge you. Like, for example, say you're buying a, a Ford Taurus, just hypothetically speaking. Say it's a 2010. If it's originally $8,000 that you have to put down, just originally now, if you can't come up with the full 8000 and it's 8000 out the door, if you can't come up with the full 8000 how they get their money on you and get the scheme going, <coughs> they'll charge you $1,800. Excuse me, eighteen thousand. I'm sorry, eighteen thousand dollars, or fifteen, or seventeen thousand, or even some cases twenty, because they bought to the interest. Remember, these people are trying to make money. They try to talk about they giving you the best deals and all that and everything. No, the best deal you can get when buying a car, <coughs> the best deal you can get buying a car is paying buying one cash out the door. That's the best thing you can do. Because dealing with these people, they'll come pick your car up, no matter where you at, or they'll try to turn your car off and everything. That's something else they'll do. They'll turn your car off, or they'll come pick your car up. You can be at work and everything, and you don't miss the payment. Well, I don't care if it's one payment. You miss the payment, they'll be so quick to come take it. So all that riding around, I got me a 2020 Denali. Uh, 2020 Tahoe, 22, 22 Tahoe, whatever. Whatever the new car and everything. What good is that? You paying five, six hundred dollar car now, plus insurance. What good is it? Now, if you if you have the money, and you can afford that. That's one thing. But if you're just trying to do it just to keep up with family or keep up with people and everything, you're wasting your time. You're gonna self destruct yourself. Cause these people that deal with these cars, they don't care. <clears throat> Only thing they want is money. Don't care nothing about you, where you work, or nothing. Remember, I told you, they will come get your car, even if you at work. You got a soccer game or basketball game with your kids. They'll come get your car and they would tow it away. And they'll tell you, you should have paid to know. So why be bothered with that headache? Get you a car and pay it off. If you need fixing, if you want to hook it up and detail it, you can. I mean, but remember, you will own it. You will own it. A lot of people be trying to tell me, go buy a new car, go get a 2020 and everything. I don't need that shit, man. I don't need it. What I need it for? I ain't trying to prove nothing to nobody out here. If they don't like me now and everything, if they don't like me rolling around, <clears throat> let me teach y'all something. If somebody don't like you, I mean genuinely like you, um, because you rolling around in a rust bucket and everything, why would they like you and everything when you rolling around with something nice? In other words, love and appreciate me when I have a little bit. That way you can celebrate with me together when I have a lot. But if you down, <coughs> if you're downing me now, because I don't have the nice car, or it's like I say a rust bucket, or or you know it put 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 down the road, you ain't my friend. You ain't my family. So I'm just letting you guys know and everything. Think twice. You know what I mean? Everybody's different. Everybody got their situation. Everybody made different kind of money. But think twice before you go jump out there to get a car note. Think twice. Now, like I said, the preferred method, buy a vehicle cash out. But you ain't got to worry about no car, worry no car note. Worry about um somebody come picking your car up and everything else. I've seen it happen. One lady was running after her car. She was at work. And I, he called and told the people, said, let me, you know, I had some incident with my son or something like that. And she told the people to give her more time. And they didn't, they didn't care. They don't care. Remember, it's all, I keep telling you, it's all about the money. That's what, that's what this, this world, that's what, how this world is. They all about the money. I don't care what lie I got to tell. I don't care what false advertisement I got to show you. They all about the money. And that woman was running after the car and everything. It, it was it was crazy. I'm just letting you guys know. Think twice before you jump out there and get a heavy or thick car note. <clears throat> you don't need no added headache. 
You don't need nothing that's going to keep you up at night talking about how I'm going to pay this car. No. Are they going to turn your car off? Are they going to come repo it? And remember, when they repo it, it goes on your credit. They're going to make sure of that. So always understand something. If you feel that you over your head before you before you get into it and everything, don't do it. Well, you want so I want something nice and everything. Then wait till your money catch up with something nice. Wait till you can walk in there and say, bam, that's 30000 on the table. Give me that car. Pay it all. No questions asked. Until then, get you something nice and everything that you can afford. Stop living over your means. Remember, when you get water over, please understand something. When you live, you know, when you live, you know, right on your means or below your means, you can keep your head out the water. You can still breathe. But when you live over your means, you drown. Because now the water that got over your head. And it's filling up your lungs and you're going to drown. Don't do it. I don't care what advertising, they can dance, do all these stupid commercials and everything. They ain't doing nothing but lying. Because if you miss the payment and everything, they come to take that car or they're going to turn it off. And if you don't pick that car note back up, everything, they will hit your credit with that. And you don't need that. So think twice before y'all get out there. It's Beretta 19. Be blessed. <clears throat> Be blessed. Sorry about, you know, some of the coughing, you guys. Everything. I'm still, like I said, still, you know, recovering a little bit, but I'm okay. Everything ain't like it used to be, I tell you that. Let me say, you know, real talk, y'all. Take it for a man who had a vehicle re re repossessed. You don't need the headache. You don't need nothing keeping you up at night because you can't pay it. Be careful how you spend your money. Make good and sure that this car I'm finna purchase, I can afford it. I can take care of it if it breaks down and still take care of the insurance and a car note. If not, buy it out cash. I don't care what people say. I don't care what your family say, what your friends say. Remember, they ain't the one that got to pay for it. You do. So keep that in mind. Don't get into a car note and everything. Listen to what family and friends talking about and everything. They be the very ones they won't help you. Uh, you should have thought about that before you got the car. But you the one that told me to go get it. So I'm just telling you and everything. Please be cognizant of that. Don't go jump into no car note if you can't afford it. Because they will repossess it. Or turn it off. And they will charge it on your credit. Please understand that. Remember, these people are after money. They're after money. They're not after, you know, wondering if you're a good person and everything. They're after money. Remember, they butter you up to get you in the door, tell you all these BS deals and everything. You believe that a vehicle you wouldn't be only be paying 8000 for or even 5000 depending on what kind of vehicle it is. They didn't took it up another eight, nine, ten thousand, because they want money. So don't be a victim. It's for Reddit 19. Catch y'all in the next video. Catch y'all in the next video. Please, when you go buy a car, remember what I said. Take it from a man who's been there. Take care.